Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope everybody is okay. Today we have came to a place. It's called Mughal Gardens. That's a local name. But if you translate it, it means garden for royals or just royal gardens. There is a brief history behind it that I'm gonna tell you in a second but first I'm just gonna show you the video and uh, the view that I am getting this is the entrance we took and uh, from here there is a pathway around the pond this is the main pond on the right hand side there are a few ponds but uh, it's been banned to get yourself dipped in it now Long, long time ago, there was a time when we used to come in a hot summer days to have a bath in these ponds, in this, in this one specifically. But then we stopped because uh, they got some fish in it. I'm gonna try to locate some if I could find it. I hope, yep. There is one, it's going and now uh, it has gone and I found some more. There are a bunch of them, I mean about 15-20 of them. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it. I'm gonna try my best to get close to them as much as I can. Yeah. I'm not sure about the breed of these ones, but all I, I can see, they are here. They used to be the colorful ones orange black and white albino fish but uh, i don't see any other color they all are same same thank god luckily it's not deep and uh, we don't have big fish that can pinch i'm not sure about these ones but i don't want to do experiment Catching the fish is prohibited. Otherwise, I could have taken some of them with me for the grill later. bunch of them
I am standing right in the middle of uh, this pond but I have noticed something that uh, was worth showing so I'm going to show you now this is the tree this tree is bugged almost hollowed as you can see in the middle I am literally in the tree there is nothing in it all the way up but if you see this is the stem of it and if you see right on top it's nicely green <laughs> it looks perfect tree from this side but on the other side it's completely hollow more than half it's hollow but up till the top it's nicely green I mean look at it who would have said from this side it looks nicely green and filled with wood but on the other side Inside. It's hollow. All the way top. But this side is fine. This side is fine as well. And standing very nicely. There is a good thick root. And then we're gonna go to the next one. This is the one. I mean, this is the tree, right? Full green. And I am standing right in the middle of the tree. It's hollow. But when you look on the top, it's f green. I'm gonna show you the view from the other side. And next to it, this one does look fine this one does look filled but until you go up 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 and then you see hollow again this one is hollow you can see the internals of the tree but again on the other side grass is green this one it's not as green as the proper hollow ones it's, it does look a bit dead dark green but I'm amazed on the nature about that one the big one first one and this second one first one is hollow and the second one is just the shell but then as you go more up the more up you go the more green it gets it's a phenomena and if you ever get a chance to visit Pakistan make sure you guys come and have a look now because it's sunny and uh, I'm gonna show you the view all around the park look it's green very nicely there is a snack shop here and some basic needs it's a family park there are some families sitting having a picnic day it's a weekend i don't see any fish at this point Yep. 
there is one. There is one and we're gonna look for something else. If there are any. Yeah, there are a few in there. So basically, all around the pond, right on the edges, there are fishes. Lucky for them, fishing is not allowed here. Otherwise, I was planning to get some and uh, do the grill today. But lucky for the fish, it's not allowed. We're gonna try to get close if we could. I just don't wanna jump in, you know. Look at the view. So this side, these are the restaurants and a hotel as well. And then if you turn around, that's another day video to climb up on that mountain. Inshallah, we're gonna be doing soon. No. There is a mosque at the back of this garden. I'm not sure the way of it because uh, this door used to be opened and everybody could come and go. We're gonna try to go at the back and show you the rest as well. There are stairs, but you can't go up. I mean, the stairs finish halfway. I mean, by the looks of it, the walls and uh, the thickness of the wall. You can relate this place to the royals. And uh, with that said, uh, I just remembered that I haven't told you guys uh, the full history. A brief history that I'm gonna tell you. I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying the video and uh, the view of the fish. I'm gonna be telling you the brief history of uh, this garden. Why, how the name generated or what is the genesis of the name. Like, I mean, to me, literally, the name does give me a uh, weird vibes. Why just the name Wah? Like I know it's it means Wow in uh, the local language or in Urdu or Punjabi like Wow, like amazing. That was amazing, that sort. But after doing some research, I came up to the script that uh, I've wrote and collected history of the area. It's uh, I'm going to be reading that to you. Man Singh, a famous general and minister of the Mughal Emperor Akbar the Great, was posted in the area between 1581 to 1585 CE. 1581 to 1585 CE. During his stay in the area, he developed gardens around a natural spring at Jalalsar, near Hassan Abdal. So basically, the name of the place that we know now is Va Garden or Va Kent. It used to be Jalal Sir. That is near to, what do you say, Hassan Abdal. The gardens at the time were compromised of a large tank and a small pavilion enclosed by perimeter wall 
the 12 gates, a tradition mentions that when Mughal's emperor Jahangir, Mr. Jahangir, visited the place, he was so amazed or he was so impressed or he got so shocked that he looked at it in a first look, he goes, wow. I mean, literally, like, wow. Because he said, wow, they got it. And uh, now the whole area name is Wa Garden. In some way, they do call it Mughal Gardens, but the most famous name, or just the famous name, is Wa Garden. Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan stayed at Wa for the first time in 1639 CE and ordered redesigning and new constructions in the garden. I'm going to show you the constructions that he got it done. So basically the whole area it wasn't as green or uh, the tracks were not here as you can see these ones and the boundary wall wasn't there it was just this pond like a natural reservoir or something. Then he got it done. He found a famous architect of that time period and his name was Ahmed Lahori who re redesigned the gardens and constructed pavilion, canals, cascades, fountains and warm and cold buffs on the Mughal pattern in two years. After its redesigning, Shah Jahan stayed here four more times in different years. So, as you can see over there, one used to be the cold buff and one used to be the hot buff. That's why their construction is different nowadays in modern life, like uh, a pool where uh, people can have a bath and uh, steamed. This is some sort of that thing. I don't know exactly because and plus uh, hasn't been maintained quite nicely but it's just there so if we go along more with the history that i found or i've got it from 1813 to 1847 this area was in control of Sikh rulers and like other muslim buildings the war garden also suffered greatly at the lands of Sikh regime in 1865 the british government of india bestowed these gardens and surrounding areas to Nawab Muhammad Hayat Khan. In recognition of the services to, of his family to the British Raj, the government of Pakistan acquired these lands or acquired these gardens from Hayat family in 1976 and opened them for public. The Mughal gardens were for their outstanding historical and architectural importance has been declared protected equity i have come up to the entrance again and uh, first i've covered that side and now i was planning to go straight but uh, when i came here when i came here i've noticed that there are two graves the first one is sardar Ghulam khan wal karam khan Wa gone and that's it and the other one is Sardar Sikandar Khan Well, Sardar Karam Khan So he is the father and he is the son and the date of um, death is 
being innocent you know as i am i took a turn from there i'll show you from here came all the way here by thinking i'm gonna be going at the back i got there and there is no way it's like open and i just didn't want it to jump in so i'm gonna go again back from that side all around and then i'm gonna go try to go back so stay with me until i get there please it'll be nice also don't worry i'm not gonna say that subscribe my channel and all that if you really like the video you can do that but if you don't like the video just don't do it don't even need to watch the video the rest of it it's okay all good yeah so i'm just walking i know i had to walk long way but that was amazing that was amazing now i am almost halfway and now from there i'm gonna turn left i'm gonna go walk straight but in the way i'm gonna show you one exit point of that main pond as i was going bird started singing like as if bird is telling me please please stop stop look around maybe you are missing something you know then i looked down and i saw an exit point of this pond where the fish was then i've been looking 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 i thought come here fishy come here come on fish didn't came but i can show you the water is clean it's going on with full speed i don't know where exactly it's going but it's going somewhere all i can say is by looking at that by looking at this see the water is going in there as well and the water is going straight and it's going in a very good speed you know i'm assuming there is a network that's going underneath this garden and uh yeah so there is some good uh, kind of uh, architecture design that happened in here and as i said in the beginning of the video that was amazing that is amazing i'm impressed i am impressed another amazing part i was there then i walked all the way there in the corner behind the wall and there is no way so i had to walk back all the way went there then walked then there was the exit point of the water then came all the way here and now i am here as you can see and now we're gonna try to go at the back another beautiful thing i would really love to show you guys that is if i turn around i've got a proper mountain on my back that's another day exploring that we're gonna go and we're gonna show you how beautiful this garden is i've got it right at the back side of the garden and now i did found the way to go into the back garden that is right at my back and uh, i'm just waiting here getting myself cooled down and my glasses less blue so then i'm gonna make a move and i'm gonna show you the rest of the park so stay tuned don't subscribe to the channel that's fine don't need it if you like the video you can like the video but don't subscribe it if you don't want to but if you really like the video make sure you subscribe to the channel i'm not saying it i'm just telling you you know just in case my glasses are less blue i can see better now i'm gonna make a move i'm gonna be going at the back side of the garden i'm gonna show you another mountain or a hilltop that's another day video and i'm gonna be making and i'm gonna be climbing i'm gonna be hiking that one as well let's go Oh wow, I bet more than half of the people, they don't know that this place exists. I mean, I never came here before, so this is the first time. 
that I'm here. That's good. They got security cameras. Yeah, as you can see, the underneath there is a line, the waterway, where the water comes here all the way from there, and the fountains are here as well. This is not working, but fountains are here. They used to work some time ago, and uh, I am assuming I'm not hundred percent that uh, this is the path that has been made on the request of. Uncle Mughal and it's clean it's nice the trees are more healthy not hollow we're not gonna go all the way to that side because not much of clean side but this side is cleaner so I'm gonna be going towards that side because as I said there is another mountain that I need to show you and I'm gonna be going there very soon and I will tell you all about it all the history about it if there is any if there is only just the mountain it's just a mountain nothing can be done nothing we can do about it but overall it's uh, very beautiful weather got nice as well nice shiny sunny and there is an entrance or the exit of the garden that we're gonna try to climb up there are stairs but some of the stairs are broken there is a mosque so we're gonna be making I'm gonna be making the next video about that mosque I'm just trying to collect some facts and figures about it what is it? What's the name? How it got built? Who built it? Uh, what sort of design it has? And I'm assuming, I haven't got to this point, but I'm assuming it's gonna have some water. Because, yep, it has. And it's coming from there. But after, before, before the wall, there is nothing here. So gonna go along with it to see where it goes there is some biryani masala in it I don't know maybe somebody cooked biryani in it and yeah the usual thing some bugs and some junk I'm just gonna stay quiet for a second just for you guys to enjoy the view I know I am talking so much I need to stay quiet oh wow somebody made a YouTube logo over there on the wall not a good way to promote your YouTube channel but very innovative you know whoever comes I'm sure nobody gonna bother to look into it but still I'm gonna try to capture this bird it's a very like I haven't seen it's gray color you know like a dirt color if this bird is sitting in a tree or somewhere in between the tree where most of the wood is I'm not sure if anybody will be able to see it that there is a bird that's sitting I can't get more close because this bird gonna fly it's about to I just wanted to show you guys you know. here we go it's 
somehow I managed to get close to it. Now, as you can see, the more it goes in shadow, the it has some sort of camouflagic properties. It's very similar to the concrete color. My glasses turn blue again. There is so much wind. We have been to that side, all the way to the corner. Now I've came to this side, all the way or very close to this mountain hill that I'm gonna be, that I, that I told you. People do go there and we're gonna be exploring that. So I'm gonna make a video. There is another pond that we have discovered is this is the one. So the water is coming all the way from that pond and coming in here. I am sure there will not gonna be any biryani masala in it that fish can enjoy. So it has some debris, some leaves, some shampoos, some sweet teas, some lemons, and some lemon again but I did see a small teeny tiny fish I'm gonna try to yeah as you can see this is the one right in the center struggling but I'm hoping it's gonna make its way oh there is another one where did it go I don't know it was just here. It just went somewhere. Not much to see. Oh, I found two more. Here we go. This is the last pond joint and this is empty and there is nobody any masala in it as well so I've decided to just walk around you know that's the place where I'm gonna be going on top but I thought before I'm gonna go I'm just gonna go to the corner once I'm gonna go to the corner, then I'm gonna show you if the mountain gets any closer than it was before. As I am walking, I've seen there are so many messages on the wall at my back. See? Contact numbers, heart shapes, heart shape, contact number again subscribe then phone number then heart shapes then this then that i haven't seen any security but if there is any security the people who are dealing with the security they need to sort this problem first before they implement any sort of law or any new terms and conditions about what here i am I have empty thing. It's right at the corner. And I can see trees of a fruit. In local language, this berry, this specific berry, this is uh, it's called Lukart in local language. And uh, Lukart is the specific fruit of Wakant. Vakant is full of trees. They provide lookout to the local community. And if you ever want this fruit, wherever you are in the world, and you come to Pakistan and you want lookout, fresh one, so you gotta come to Vakant and around the areas where you can get it or you can grab it yourself, you know. A walk to the corner and I saw some lookout trees over there but I couldn't find the view where I can show you the mountain so I start walking back 
onto the wall where it has some secret messages belong to some lovers and some subscribe messages but here this part of the wall is clean the back part that is full of stuff these are the stairs that we are going up oh wow basically this garden is trying its best not to get finished and here we go what do we say we started the video that was amazing as you can see all these trees full of fruits over there after exploring work and just figured there is another building right at the back as you can see I have no idea what that is so I'm gonna be going there and having a look very soon I just need to find out what that is but at the meantime big kids or extra grown kids having a good time time of their life Sure, these guys are getting busy really nicely and the bird is keep on sending me messages telling me if I'm missing something so here we've got a full mountain range here one more there some more there is the closest one then these are some restaurants then if we go around There's too much wind. I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be hearing me properly. I just don't want to fall down from the stairs. So I'm getting down and that's about it. I mean that's the some public place. I don't know where the entrance for this thing is. If it is from here that I haven't seen it. But anywho. There is nothing much over there, some rides and some, some joy rides for kids, you know, or some young kids, or somebody who is having mid-age crushes. Oops. Anyways, yeah, that's about it for, about the War Garden or the Royal Garden. And I'm gonna be seeing you in the next video. But you guys need to make sure, if you don't like the video, don't subscribe to the channel, that's fine. But if you like the video make sure you click on the like button and i'm sure your finger or the joint of your finger will not gonna hit hurt if you click on subscribe it's just one extra click you know sometimes when the computer is not on you're just clicking here and there for no reason wasting your energy giving your joint some pain so might as well if you are watching the video make sure that you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon peace